I'm Mike Frankel in Millville for one of the oldest rivalry games not only in the state but in the entire country. Millville and Vineland first faced off on Thanksgiving all the way back in the late 1890s. It's another rivalry game this Turkey Day between the Fighting Clan and the Thunderbolts. Vineland fumbles on the opening kickoff, so great field position to begin the game for Millville. Nate Robbins with a short pass to Solomon to Shields. The senior breaks a tackle and then charges in for a touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown catch for the pit recruit to Shields. The Bolts add a two-point conversion and take an 8-0 lead. Later in the first, Millville knocking at the door again, but it's fourth down. Robbins to Shamor Collins. Collins makes a diving catch for the touchdown. Eight yards on the toss from Robbins to Collins. The Bolts extend the lead 14 to nothing. The Fighting Clan able to answer later in the first. Nazir Broom on the carry. Broom stretches for the goal line and gets there. Touchdown Vineland on the 10 yard run from Broom. 14 to seven Millville after one, and that's also the score at the half. The Bolts would make it 20 to seven in the third quarter on a Shamor Collins pick six, but here comes the clan in the fourth. Tyreen Powell, the Virginia Tech commit, throws to the end zone. Ryan Shelton makes the over the shoulder catch for a touchdown. Great grab from the senior Shelton. An 18 yard strike as Vineland pulls within six. The Fighting Clan would stop the Bolts on a fake punt attempt in Millville territory, so a short field for Vineland here. Broom around the left side, and he turns the corner for a touchdown. Nazir Broom's second score of the day. The extra point attempt fails, but the Fighting Clan tie the game at 20. And what a finish we'd be in for at Wheaton Field. Under two minutes to go. Robbins rolls right. His pass almost intercepted. Instead, the Shields is there to make the catch. And the senior races all the way in for his second touchdown of the day. 65 yards on the play as Millville retakes the lead 26 to 20. No quit in the clan though. Vineland needs to move in a hurry. Powell flings it to the outside to Jonathan Tony, And Tony finds some room to run. Jonathan Tony sprinting all the way down inside the 20 yard line and the Fighting Clan are in business. Just over a minute left now. Powell pumps, rolling to his right, throws to the end zone. Levi Manson makes the catch in double coverage for the touchdown. An incredible play from the Fighting Clan. Manson's grab ties the game at 26. So here we go, Vineland can take the lead on the extra point, and Henry Garten drills it. Vineland comes back to stun Millville. The Fighting Clan hoist the Daily Journal Victory Cup for the fourth year in a row. 27-26 the final. The teams would have to be separated after a fight breaks out in the post-game handshake line, but when things calm down, the Fighting Clan reflect on an improbable win. It's great for, for me, our seniors, and everybody else, our fans, our family. It's just great. We just knew that we had an assist to come back and just beat them. We just had it in us. We had faith in us. God was on our side, and the fans was on our side. They all, they, they all had hope in, hope in us. And when Reem threw that ball, man, God God was with me through all, all that. Yeah, that's a credit to the kids. I got great coaches here, great community support. It's, it's an honor to coach these guys year in and year out. I love them all like sons. What a win. These guys, uh, they earned it. They deserve it. Vineland finishes the season with a record of 6-5. and five. Millville finishes at 5-6. and six. I'm Mike Frankel, JerseySportsZone.com.